Thank you for staying with us. Now we're going to be looking at the Lagos <laughs> land use charge. <laughs> Residents in Lagos State are demanding a reversal of the increased land use charge, LUC, slammed on land and building owners by the present administration. At the front line of opposition to the new rate are uh, opposition political parties, residents of highbrow estates in Lagos, forget highbrow, <laughs> residents of Lagos State, businesses and professional associations. The organized private sector has also indicated that it will resist the review, which it said has led to 200% increase in land use charge in some cases. In some cases, it's even more than that. I hear some are as high as 400%. Now, we're being joined by Mr. Shukbo Ojo, yes, a legal morning. practitioner, yes. and we expect the Commissioner for Information of Lagos State, Mr. Kende Bambeton, to join us during the course of our discussion. Yes, Mr. Ojo. What are your thoughts about these charges? Are you a member of the Keja branch of the MBA? I'm a member of the Keja branch oh, okay. of the MBA. So we have a vague idea of what yes. your thoughts are on yes. this. Yes. You, you all are calling you, out a protest you, you, next you have, week? Yes, you have it. <laughs> uh, it is a, it's a very wor worrisome development, actually, uh, unexpected uh, from this government that has enjoyed some uh, goodwill from the people. It's like uh, paying the people back uh, negatively. Uh, I, I never expected that uh, any government, even during this economic recession, out of which people are just coming, that the only thing they will be contemplating will be how to add to the, to the suffering, mm. to the pain, that to inflict more pain on the people uh, just because they have the intention of uh, of uh, bridging the gap uh, in the infrastructural uh, status of the state, uh, at what expense? At the expense of the people, uh, and I feel it is most uh, insensitive. Yeah, but Shukpo, some people are saying even the taxes they pay, they don't see anything for it. Well, I, I have also asked myself that question, because uh, if, 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 if you construct a vehicle with about 280 billion naira, mm -hmm. a vehicle, mm. and the vehicle is moving. After the vehicle must, must have passed, you should be able to see the imprint of that. Ah, this 280 billion vehicle passed mm. through this place. You can yes. see the marks. Mm. I, I can't see. Yeah, like Neil said at the beginning, you are your own minister of works. Minister for Water Resources, yes. Minister of you, Defense. Yeah, you, 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 you do everything yourself. Yes. Then yes. The, there's one that they call Neighborhood Development Tax. Yes. In my neighborhood at the beginning of this year, we had to contribute money to fix our own road. It is also so the taxes, we pay education tax, we pay income tax, we pay VAT. Where does all that money go when we're still fixing our own roads? And that is not enough. You now slam us with well, land no, 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 use no, no, charge. No, no, no. <laughs> like no, the no, former no. guest here said, yes. okay, you slam us with these charges, we'll pass it on to the tenant. Simple. That is it. You know, under the former law, the, the responsibility was that of the landlord, mm -hmm. was that, that of the owner of the house. Yeah. Still the, is. But the new, but the new law now, has now shared it, either the landlord or the tenant. Hmm. Both of them are now responsible. And if your lease is above 10 years, it's only the tenant who will pay it. Okay. After paying rent, after paying all that the landlord has demanded, it will still be there. But where the lease is below 10 years, hmm. that is even your three months rent, hmm. or one year rent, or whatever, you <laughs> are liable. The law states so clearly. Uh, but you and I know that at we'll, we'll, the we'll end. We just want to state here again that we're still expecting the Commissioner for Information, Lagos State, Mr. Ken De Bang Beton. He had been invited and he promised he'll be here. So we're hoping he'll come in before the conversation And Mr. Ojo, you, you, I, I don't know if you actually look at this from the angle of a Lagos State government. The population in Lagos is increasing on a daily basis. There's need to 
take care of the infrastructure. There is need to revisit, to repair, to maintain, and even build new infrastructure. Aren't you considering that? That is true. I, mean, I actually put myself in the position of Lagos State government. Are you sure? Yeah, because that, it didn't that, sound that, 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 that way. No, I, I, still, my position, my, my opinion will still remain the same. Why? Because this law was made earlier and people were paying this tax. And part of the complaint now is that the number of those paying, they are, they, they are, they are very small. Mm -hmm. And that therefore, the thing to do now is to repeal that law and increase the tax so that the number of those paying, those paying will now be... Paying will, more. Pay, paying more. Instead of going to look for those who are not paying. Simple. That get, is, I mean, Lagos is expanding every day. People, new buildings are coming up every day. So why not increase your surveillance? Why not increase your capacity to actually implement the provisions of that law? And to me, I've gone through that formal law. There, there is no need to have even repealed that law. That law made provision that the value of properties can be reviewed every five, five years. All they needed to have done was to review the value of the property. But what they did was to repeal that law totally and bring in new 